right, guys. So now that we've talked about how this program works, let's see how to actually create some video. So the first thing we want to do, if you haven't done this already, is go to File, and we're going to create a new project. And what that does is it creates an empty uh, timeline here that we can uh, make this our canvas with. So uh, we're going to get rid of all the old stuff here. That old uh, sample file is out of here. And what we're going to do now is start to get our video inside of this program so we can start working with it. The first thing you want to do is hit import on the upper left corner there. Um, I currently have my flip camera uh, plugged into the USB port on the front of my computer. Um, and it's showing me all of the videos that I have available for me to transfer in. Um, simply, um, there's a couple ways uh, that you can view these things. Um, you can see that there's a play button over the top of it. You can hit play and it'll actually play in place. Um, you can also sort of scrub through the video so you can see exactly what the piece of video is. Um, at this point, what we're going to do is just take all this video in because we're not really worried about editing or doing, or doing anything with it yet until we get it into the program. So we want to just take these raw files and just get them all in there. Um, I know all of these are relevant to the project that I'm going to be working on and that you're going to be working on as well. And so uh, what I'm going to do is hit import. And uh, before I do that, I want to show you a couple different features. What Something that we want to check is where is the video going to go once we hit this import button. Um, in this case, it's going to go to my L drive in a video folder um, titled Flip HD. Um, you can see I have got um, over 500 gigs available on this drive in particular. I'm using an external uh, Seagate drive. It's a two terabyte uh, video drive that I'm using. Um, if we have any audio clips, which we don't, this is where they would go. If we have any photos, this is where they go. But in this case, we don't. So um, the other thing we want to pay attention to is, is it going to delete the original? Basically what that means is it going to take these videos off of the camera once I'm done transferring them. Um, I want to say yes to that and ignore duplicates. Um, I want to click yes. And the reason I want to click yes is that um, a lot of times the flip video cameras will name their videos um, all the same thing. So uh, video 0001, 0002, and you can see it's sort of happening here. Well, if I import this and I ignore duplicates, it's going to file, it's going to create a second file, even if there's one with the same name that exists. So what that does is it prevents us from overwriting a file if it's named the same thing on a flip camcorder, which um, I have actually run into that issue before. Um, another thing is that if you're bringing in media from any other uh, type of device. You can bring it in from a DVD um, with movie files on it. You can bring it in from your webcam. If you want to plug a webcam into here, um, it'll show up right here where this flip video uh, uh, camera does, as well as a mini DV um, camcorder. If you plug that in there, what's going to happen instead of these little files that show up here, you're going to get a player window and you'll be able to hit play and uh, capture the entire uh, the entire tape right there and then also talk about or work with uh, scene detection. I would say for right now what we want to do is capture one big file and then we're going to show you how to, I'm going to show you how that, uh, how Pinnacle Studio actually takes that large movie clip and then breaks it into many smaller pieces without you doing anything to it. So um, anyway that's a quick overview of the uh, studio import. I'm going to go ahead and import these into the project and it's going to ask me if I want to delete the original. Do I really want to delete it? And yes, I do, because I don't want them on the camcorder anymore. I want to free up some space. So I'm going to let that happen. And when it's done, I will come back. OK, so now the videos are imported. And what um, we're going to do is take a look at where they show up here. Um, actually, what happened was is the import window, once I was finished, the import window closed. And it brought me to the second step here, which is the actual editing step, and showed me where those files were in the uh, project bin or clip window. So um, that covers importing, and let's go on to the next step.